Hello, it's Doreen Hastin. Welcome and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I want to talk about different ways married people can celebrate their Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is here and if you're married, you can use the opportunity to strengthen the bond between you and your partner. You can plan the day together or one of the partners can give a surprise to the other. So if you plan it together, ensure you plan something that you can afford. Remember, you can create beautiful memories even without spending any money. So in this video, I'm going to discuss those ways that you can celebrate the Valentine's Day with your partner even without using money and at the comfort of your home. Number one, you can write your partner a letter that is a love note. In the letter, maybe you can open it by uh, using the pet name you normally call your partner with those sweet, sweet names that you call your partner. Uh, pour out your heart, tell your partner how much you love uh, him or her. Acknowledge their beauty, that is their eyes, their smile, maybe how they talk, their hair, something that moves you. You know, if you mention some things, they will uh, make someone or make your partner feel nice. Um, you can also appreciate your partner maybe for the sacrifices he or she has done to your family, to you or even to your children. Uh, it's very, very important because uh, your partner feels something nice and feels that uh, maybe all their effort did not just go like that. So it's going to appreciate. Uh, number two, you can cook dinner at home. This one you need to plan it well so that you can cook something that you both like. Or it can be something maybe you've seen somewhere uh, before, maybe online, uh, on TV, you've read it on a magazine and you've always wanted to try it out. And when you're cooking, you need to have some jokes so that at the end of the day, the moments can be easy. Uh, and after cooking, uh, dress the table very well, use some decal pieces to make it uh, look appealing. You can use flowers and on this occasion, I would recommend rent flowers. Uh, use some candles, uh, uh, wine, sweet music or some nice soft music and ensure that uh, the room is dimly uh, lit. You know, there's something about uh, uh, dimly uh, lit uh, rooms. So ensure the lighting of the room is not too much. And uh, during heating, make uh, the moments memorable, like you can kiss, you can feed uh, one another. Something that will make uh, you to trigger the feelings of love between the two of you. Number three, plan a massage. A massage is very, very important because it gives you the opportunity to have the physical contact. Physical touch or contact is very important because it helps to trigger uh, beautiful uh, feelings and emotions. It makes you to relax and maybe forget everything else. Uh, it is more intimate and uh, it is also a way to create beautiful memories, memories that will carry you during your low moments. And during the massage session, ensure that your phones are silent to ensure, to make sure that uh, you don't have any interruption during the session. Number four, take a straw in the evening with your partner. Uh, you, it can be somewhere with the trees because that one will give you the opportunity to listen to the band singing their beautiful uh, melodies. Uh, you can stand next to a stream. You know, that one will give you the opportunity to listen to the murmuring of the stream. Uh, stand somewhere, maybe you can watch 
about the sunset together and during that time talk about the whole times especially when you are starting off your relationship and all the beautiful memories that you've been through all along and during that time uh, have a physical contact hold uh, each, each other's hands or uh, candle one another you can kiss and every time you kiss i always insist close your eyes because there is something you know when you close your eyes you are able to meditate you are able to trigger uh, the feelings or you are able to listen to what your partner is making you uh, feel number five uh, you can sit uh, around a fire and maybe play a game or watch a movie do something that will make you connect something that will trigger the feelings and carry you throughout the night remember the idea of valentine's is not about spending money it's not about gifts but it's about creating uh, moments and creating memories memories that will carry you throughout the year so remind yourself about the love about the commitments about the sacrifices that will carry you throughout the year thank you so much for watching this video if you love it don't forget subscribe like and share with other people so that they can see the video as well